Welcome to Functions, which is Lesson 9 on page 117 of your workbook. In this particular lesson, we're going to be looking at all of the trig graphs, as well as the graphs of the parabola, the hyperbola, and the exponential graph. Right, grade tens, we now come to Lesson 9, which is on page 117 in your workbook, and you'll see that that's to do with functions. Now, before we actually launch into the first paragraph of what's in the book, let's just remember that in algebra specifically, we normally have some kind of a rule which links a variable, normally x, as an input variable, to some kind of a variable, an output variable, normally y. And that's just a relationship between x and y. And we know that normally that gives us a coordinated point which we can put on a graph. And then if we graph it, sometimes we get the most wonderful patterns coming out. And those are what we actually call our graphs or our functions. Now that's what we're about to study. The next thing I need to say is that in grade 10, we set the foundation for grade 11 and grade 12. And in your grade 12 examination, it counts between 20 and 25% of your paper. So let's get through this well, because it really will set the foundation and give you that brickwork on which to build. Right, looking at what it says in our book, in our first paragraph, it tells us that in grade 10, we learn how to sketch the functions y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. Now, I'm sure that you can remember that a couple of lessons ago, we were dealing with trigonometry. So really what we're going to be doing is having a look at how we can put trig onto a graph or a Cartesian plane. Once we've done that, we're also going to be looking at the functions y equals ax squared and y equals ab to the x. Now, I just need to add in here that what is missing in this introduction, we are missing the function y equals a over x. So if you wouldn't mind just popping that into your workbook, there is another one that we're going to be looking at after the ax squared and the y equals ab to the x. And that is y equals a over x. Right, once we've had a look at that, we're also going to have a look at the graphs. And you can see that this one was sine x. Then we're going to have a look at what effect the a has if it multiplies by the sine x. What happens if we put an a in front of the cos x and an a in front of the tan x? And it qualifies here that a can be any positive number or negative number. And you'll see that this a here in the front of each of these is actually working just as a multiplier as it was in those three initially. Once we've done that, we are actually going to see that we're going to take our graphs and we're going to have a look at what happens if we take our a sine x and add a q to it, an a cos x and add a q to it. Same thing, a tan x, add a q. There's our ax squared. We're going to have a look at what effect adding q does to each of the graphs that we would have had a look at originally. And functions is really about movements of points on a plane. So that's where we're on our way to. 